We're here outside the 20th Annual American Democracy Conference at Alumni Hall, where keynote speaker Terry McAuliffe will discuss his thoughts on the Trump presidency and the month-long government shutdown. I wanted to be here today in Charlottesville because you are such a central part of the Trump presidency. I don't blame Trump for the specific acts of Charlottesville, but I do blame him for the atmosphere that people felt it's okay today in this society, in this culture, that they can get away with this type of thing. The issue on the border wall, while we have the shutdown today, this is all Trump trying to appeal to a small base. We got an exclusive interview with former Governor Terry McAuliffe. So obviously the government's been shut down for a little over a month now, and you were pretty outspoken about Trump's role in that. Are there any steps that Democrats could or should take to bring this to an end? Well, and there's a reason why Trump owns it. He said he wanted to own it. He had the Republicans vote unanimously in the Senate to open the government. And then he listened to Rush Limbaugh on the radio. And then the next day he said, I won't sign the bill. So it's really sad. He's blamed for his poll numbers today. He's at 34%. That's a historic low of any president in the history of our country. Should Democrats give in in any way? Well, give in, just remember, he created, the, he created this. Compromise is not a bad word. It is Trump who said, you either give me my wall or I shut down the government. That was Trump's words. The steel slats that Trump talks about building, mm -hmm. the DHS used an ordinary hardware saw and cut through it in a few minutes and created a big hole. So let's not waste taxpayer money. Let's do something smart. We also asked him about his potential campaign for the 2020 elections. My proudest achievement is I took a state that was red and we made it blue and now we are progressive, now we are open, and we are the job-creating envy of the United States of America. What differentiates you from the other potential candidates, especially for young Americans? Yeah, I would say actual deliverable items. As governor, I have a real true record. As you know, I kept our women's clinics open. The bills kept coming to my desk. I um, restored more felon rights than any governor in the history of the United States of America. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that Donald Trump is not in office in January of 2021. Thank you very much. For WUVA News, I'm Vanessa Revia.